Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Bulldogs Creed Man Show. Um, first off, we've got the New Zealand Warriors taking on uh, my team, the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs. No Ben Barber, as I've said in the last episode, he's still not uh, he's still not playing. Jury Lowe's there, Tim Lafayette is still in for Sam Parrott. James Graham obviously serving his suspension still. He'll be back like round 9, I believe. Round 9 or round 10. If you see the Bulldogs making their way out into the field, this would be a big challenge for them. They versus Panthers, who um, they made lots of good recruits, but they had lots of inexperience, and they blew Bulldogs off the park. Dragons also had a lot of inexperience. Um, their four pack played very well, though. But the Warriors, they've kind of got an all around good side. Like, they're pretty good. Um, but Lafayette goes in and scores, opening his account for this year for the Bulldogs. I, oh, I believe so, anyways. Kristen Inu converting it to make it 6 0 to the Bulldogs, away from home. It, oh, this is also Inu's return to New Zealand. Another bomb, this is Bulldogs' weakness. Bomb, and they end up getting under the ball and scoring a try. Too, it's too easy. Uh, the Bulldogs really missing Barber. They need they need to get someone who can go under the high balls. As Jury Low quite often lets the forwards try and take it uh, when he should be there. A Bulldogs hit straight back. An unnecessary pass there, but Steve Turner ends up scoring, which is uh, pretty good. I believe that was Jury Lowe who threw the last pass. So either Lowe or um, Josh Morris. But either one. Whatever, there's a very strong breeze. The reason I included this clip. Um, and Inu slots it straight over. Making it 12-6. Warriors then throw a few good offloads. Scoring. And they won't miss from there. That's why there's no goal kicking conversion. Whatever clip. Um, and it was 12 all. A pretty bad pass there, ends up with Lowe getting the ball, and he goes all so close to um, reaching the line. But they end up going straight the next play, you know, pushing off one player, going straight over under the post, basically. And uh, the conversion, was no way you can't miss from there. So it was 18-12, Bulldogs just need to hold on here to secure their first win. And they, they, nearly, they nearly butcher it, uh, they made h half a break. The Warriors, or the sort of, there actually was a break, I should say, not half a break. But, um, they end up pulling him down. And that's how it finishes, 18-12. We'll be seeing uh, a clip from uh, the other week's play, or like the rest of the teams, I should say. So that's all the results. As you see, obviously going to be a few upsets, a few weird results, because this is a game. But, um, yeah, we got our first victory, very happy. Very, very happy actually, considering the the first two games, the standard of play, um, it was very poor, and uh, we've stepped up a lot for the third game. Fourth game will be a very, like probably the hardest test. I know Warriors, Warriors were probably the hardest um, at that stage, but um, I think Newcastle are a better side than them. Um, we've got Kirk Kidley just there. He's one of their big players. Got Darius Boyd. You got um, a lot of players that are very good. I think Bo Scott ended up just um, going through, he fell for the decoy run, or they thought he was going to pass it, and he just, I don't know, just didn't pass and went back inside and scored. We see Morris, uh, Steve Turner had a very good um, run, beat a few players, and then got the offload to Morris, and he got pulled down, but um, Inu goes in and scores there, I believe, and uh, it was 6 all at half time. Bulldogs have the ball to start off with. In the second half, Morris sidesteps one, gets it to Turner. Turner has enough pace to get there. Newcastle have a lot of pacey players, but um, Turner he isn't the fastest, but he he's no slouch. He can get to the line, and um, he did, he did very well. So it was 12-6. Bulldogs ended up um, defending very well. They defended very well for the rest of the game. As you saw, Keating, Keating um. Monstered the other player, put him over the sideline. She's getting very close to the end as uh, Sam Parrott put in a big, uh, a big tackle. But I uh, will give away a penalty. She was Sam Parrott, I'm not sure. But um, he does a tackle there, I should say. And um, they defend, they defend their line the last five minutes of the game. And we hold out for two successive wins. 
run, which is in contrast to the two losses we had to two pretty average sides the start of the season. And uh, we've come up against two decent sides and we've got two wins. So um, things are turning around for the Bulldogs. Ben Barber will be back soon. Um, he's a big plus to the side. Um, and we should have good things ahead for us. Alright, if you liked it, um, if you liked the video or enjoyed it, I should say, give the video a, a like and subscribe to my channel for more. I hope, well, I hope you do. Alright, I'll see you next time.